Ooh, all right, all right. Today, we are lucky enough to be doing the Revis run. Woo! Nah, sometimes you gotta catch up on things and be responsible and pay some bills. Right now, we're about to munch. Keep running around, get Christian from school, and uh, meet some peoples at the beach and get her surf on again. Dude, look at that set. Surf's popping. You sure you don't got a fourth one in your cap? I had a fourth beer in me, bro. That was a good win. Look at that. Oh. Uh, you're all good. You're all good. I appreciate it, though. Dude, it just keeps popping. Look at this. Oh. They're finally tearing down Los Amigos. The historical landmark will be no more by tomorrow. It's a beautiful morning. What up, what up, everybody? Woo! Beautiful day, beautiful day. We are stoking. Look what has finally arrived. GoPro. Can we get in and focus here? Like, what does it say? Hero 9 Black. Warranty replacement. That's what it says. Bada bing, bada bang. Thank you so much, Casey, for taking that bag for me and getting it handled. Thanks for getting it shipped over to Mom and Pops. I'm trying to open this thing while I talk. <laughs> Mom and Pops, thanks for being patient. And then finally getting it up to Chow. Surf City, Myrtle Beach. Thanks, Chow, for coming down and visiting Nika Waves. Thanks for hooking up Chris another day in the life with the transport of the new replacement GoPro. Dun -dun. Look at that, look at that. Man, that's nice getting new things. Dang, new things are nice. Wow. And also, thank you, Hank for letting me use this GoPro in the meantime. Safe travels today. I'll see you back in a few weeks, hopefully. Be safe always. I'll keep this one uh, extra. Thanks again. I take care of it, I promise. And uh, yeah, we're about to rally for the day. Just had a good breakfast. Yeah, we are heading out on a little fun mission for the day. We're gonna hit Beginner's Bay, do some longboarding, check out those new spots, the surf tower, and see uh, the upgrade at Beginner's Bay Surf School, Mario and those guys. Then uh, yeah, we're gonna try to go hit the beach again. Find those little bender barrels and go handle more responsible stuff that we weren't able to take care of yesterday. Running around, running around, all around town. That's how Chris get down. And then hook back up with the family eventually and the boys and sunset it out. Another day in the life. And my beautiful wife walks in as I'm packing up to leave. Good morning, baby. Hey, good morning. <laughs> She's been doing the other side of all the responsible things like feeding my son, getting my son to school. Now she's here cleaning, watching me pack up to go serve. <laughs> so can I have such a good wife. I have such a good wife. I'm very blessed. Very fortunate man. I am packing up. We are leaving. I just had to give her a little shout out let her know how much I love and appreciate everything she does and playing her part. Teamwork makes the dream work, right everybody? I'm out of here. Wow, there's so much new stuff just right here in my own little zone that like I've even getting lost. This is a new adventure for me. I just pulled up some people's house on top of a hill like whoops I'm lost sorry. Now this time I parked at the bottom of the hill walking up before I pull up to somebody else's house. Just checking the scene all these new roads and places and neighborhoods popping up. I gotta figure it all out. I gotta get to know my own little zone again. Well, that was cool, man. I uh, did the little walk around, checked it all out. This little section over here. Uh, hold on, I got a phone call from the wife coming in. Pause that thought. All right, yeah, back to it. So yes, this little section between Magnific Rock and 
Finca Popoyo is really starting to blow up. They got roads cut back through here now. Bunch of people building. The views are insane. Couple little surf schools, like I was saying. Michaelito, Beginner's Bay Surf School and Surf Tower. A lot of people out. We're gonna skip the longboard session. The surf is looking pretty small. There's a lot of beginners on the, the peaks here. And I feel bad just going out and like taking over the, their little waves and let them do their thing, enjoy their day. I'm gonna go where I belong surfing and try to get my little mini tubers. Yeah, just really stoked. It was fun to run into everybody over here on the side that's doing their thing and building and whatnot. Always showing love and respect. I appreciate it. Love and respect back always. This was a cool little adventure it's right down the road from my own house. It's going to places I've never been before. <laughs> what a trip. Anyway, let's go to places I do know where to get barreled at. Let's do it. Stoking. Fun little sesh, fun little sesh. Now running errands. First stop, Riviera. Gotta pay that money. And then, poof. Danatola, gotta pay some more money. Money, money, money. Ah, oh, dude, we're styling. Surfing, money. Nicaragua, what? Another day in the life. Oh, let's do it. T-G-I-F, woo! All right, Christian, he's playing hooky from school today. He says he has a sore throat. So I tell him, it's either school or surf with daddy, buddy. So they're getting kidnapped with daddy. We're going on the surf mission. We're trying, hopefully there's some waves. Gotta rip it up, yeah, yeah. Stuck a mocha, woo! And this is how you start off the day. Oh yes, look at that. Camel Sunday, baby. Where's this? Sunday Caramelo. Whoa. Oh God, look at this thing. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, so what you got there? There's some gummy action. Yeah. Oh yeah. Teeth gummies. Teeth gummies and caramel sundays. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Let's get it done. We're getting it started just right. Good morning, early morning, special adventure today to a somewhat nearby beach. Loading up the car now, loading up the truck now. And uh, yeah, there's a little pulse today. This may be the last day of our light W word and tie situation. So it's looking preferable, hopefully, for where I'm trying to get to today. And the plan is to always get barreled. So hopefully we can check all these things off the list as we go along. And hopefully we nail some banger clips. Hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Stoking all week. It's been great. I'm trying to be quiet. It's super early. Everybody wakes up early here. I can yell to the top of my lungs if I want to. All right, anyway, we're hitting the road, man. We're almost hitting the road. Kidnap the family again. Let's get a shot of the family real quick. <laughs> yeah. 
back on another one of Chris's crazy adventures to a somewhat nearby beach break. Living it, loving it. And I gotta get out this way we're about to go up a really steep hill. Woo All right, all right, so this morning we are following what I think is gonna be the real Pacific Coastal Highway. The other week in our little adventure, we, like I said, went over parts of it, but we kind of blazed our own deep through the jungle. Now we're connecting all the dots and actually trying to avoid blazing through the jungle and cutting out time and actually following what we think is gonna be the real Pacific Coastal Highway here eventually. And so far, so good. The roads are nice. You can see where they're making all the crossings where the water gets very deep, nice at the moment. There's still lots of work, obviously, but nice. Nice, nice, nice compared to what these roads used to be. And uh, yeah, we're cruising. The adventure is real, always. Woo! Ta we made it, we made it. Boom, boom. This is actually the first time I've ever driven here and surfed here. We made it, epic. Connecting dots, driving down beaches, adventures, always. Chris Cotton, another day in the life, woo! Yes, we pulled up. We saw sick when the tide is super low. Ooh, that looks fun. The sand is really built up right now. It looks like it, oh yeah, we also have negative flow tides at the moment. It looks like the tide needs to come up just a hair to get over this little bank. Ooh, there's a little grinder. I'm gonna probably go ahead and skid out anyway. In case we have any issues with the W word or any other factors. Hopefully the tide gets over that little hump like I'm saying. And we can get some clips and some waves. Successful surf mission. Oh yeah, that was one. Oh yeah, we're out there stoking. Woo! Potential was there, but the waves were small. Still fun, getting that January gravel on. That's what I grew up in, back in South Carolina. We didn't get much waves. We did a lot of graveling, a lot of driving, checking the scenes, checking inlets, piers, jetties, whatever. Getting out there, making the best of it. So stoked just to finally driven here. I feel like I accomplished something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Super stoking on that. Even though we have those light wind conditions, like I was saying, even though it is lighter, this stretch of beach, those winds become very side, even almost onshore like, and they've kicked in just enough now where it has added that little side shore chop kind of factor. We did score a few fun waves, stoking. It's all part of the adventure. Soak it in a few more moments and then uh, cruise on back. We got stuff to do. We got playoff football games this afternoon. Kind of plot out what we're gonna do these next few days. We have significant swell for January. Heading our way according to Surfline. Gonna check the reports again. We'll get back also. They should have been updated somewhat recently. Get the new scoop on this significant swell for January. Yeah, hopefully the next few days we'll be on some more adventures, scoring some waves, stoking out. Hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Living it, loving it. Some of the boys actually decided to finally <laughs> join me for a surf again. Hard work, hard work coming surfing with Chris in the morning, man. But we here, we here. Finally got some friends with me again. Yeah, see, let's get down to the beach, let's get some waves, let's have fun, another beautiful day. You see all the clouds behind me? Oh my gosh, nice, epic. 
What is up, everybody? Wow, fun little sesh. This morning, kind of slow, that's all right. At least we're getting waves, at least we're surfing, we're stoking, always rideable like I keep saying. Hey, I've been talking about Surfline predicting a significant swell for January standards here in Nicaragua. We were coming up on those dates where we should start seeing that significant swell. So I'm checking the forecast after they've updated it for the last time and like almost always it has been downgraded but still like i was just saying waves for sure could be a pretty good day for january standards so it went from significant for january standards to maybe pretty good day we're gonna keep the hooks alive we're gonna be chasing it we're gonna be trying to score it like always but now we have decisions to make because one day this week we have to go to managua and now there's another pulse, supposedly, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now that looks really good. So good for January standards pulse, Monday, Tuesday, and then maybe a down day Wednesday, but now that it's been downgraded, is Tuesday actually gonna produce? Or will we start seeing the next one early Wednesday? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Ah! Mm. Now, nah, but for real, we're gonna plot it out. We're gonna surf, cruise, whatever happens, happens meant to be hopefully we're scoring hope you guys are enjoying the episode another day in the life stay tuned we'll see what happens It definitely was not a significant swell. It was a maybe good day for sure. There was definitely some swell in the water, don't get me wrong, but it was very similar to the conditions we've already been having. Small, slow, few nugs here and there, still super fun. That's why you just gotta go. Eyeball.com is the best way. Tomorrow, we will not be able to find out if that significant or good for January swell actually does come in more because Lisa can only get her woman checkup appointment for tomorrow, Tuesday. So, kind of hoping this significant good for January swell doesn't actually come right now. And later in the week is when we get our good, good one. But we'll find out. Stay tuned. Keep posted. Woo! Nick 62, Las Salinas, formerly known as the Ochomogo Way. <laughs> Tetracampeones del béisbol profesional nicaragüense. 